good evening everyone it is a great honor to invite dr sumit sabu so it is sumit interviewing sumit he is aims meritless rank 3 and common meritless rank 1 so hearty congratulations sumit thank you sir so first just tell us about you as to where you did your ug and pg from sir i did my ug from bjmc ahmedabad and uh, i did my pg uh, md medicine from uh, sms medical college jaipur okay so what i have realized in the last uh, at least one or two years is especially in super specialty people choose endocrinology and other fields which have more sort of work life balance what yes, made sir. you drive towards clinical hematology uh, sir in uh, my md days i have worked a lot in clinical hematology as my professor belongs to this branch he is also aims delhi pass out so i worked mm-hmm. a lot with him so i got that feeling that uh, hematology is my choice or i can go with it uh, during my second year or third year in uh, md medicine so i got uh, that feel for clinical hematology uh, during that day right so did you in your md days you were doing preparation or you you were you were interested because you were seeing cases of hematology sir uh, during my md days uh, i was seeing the cases all the cases i have seen almost uh, every case of hematology during hematol uh, during md days and that helped me a lot uh, apart from studying the core course of hematology i focus more more on clinical touches and clinical uh, clinical cases in areas that have that i have seen my in my mbds and that helped me a lot during uh, during exam solving questions yes sir so when you have to look after your preparation now in retrospect how did you cover your theory in toto did you cover look at the marrow videos only or you use some textbooks also for reference uh, sir mostly 90% if i say i uh, completed the course through marrow videos Uh, especially matlab especially your videos and uh, the general medicine part was covered almost during neat ss preparation so the remaining 50 questions was mostly covered from the marrow a bit uh, a bit or something from i can say uh, from here and there like hoffman or some important tables and everything did you use any hematology textbooks for reading or you didn't go into it so not as such not as such some 1 to 2% just uh, enthusiastically or just read, just going beyond i read some of the books just 1 to 2% uh, of my exam preparation through through that mostly from the marrow videos sir. right and for covering mcqs you use any specific source per se uh, sir uh, mostly hematology mcq is is available only only in the marrow so i covered uh, most of the mcqs through marrow only right when it comes to your inss exam yes how sir. much difficult was your hemat section how much did you attempt with respect to both medicine and hemat per, per se sir i attempted 80 out of 80 questions and uh, if i say Uh, uh difficulty part so mostly everything was very conceptual everything was very conceptual and uh, uh, the the thing which i covered in my uh, md days through clinical case scenarios that helped me a lot in uh, everything okay we did have an uh, a mock interview session also for step 2 preparation were you able to attend that after your step 1 clearance and how did it help you Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have seen your video of step two preparation, and uh, it uh, it gave me a basic idea, basic orientation of the fact that how the question will be asked, and uh, how the mi- how the mindset should be for the step two. As uh, usually in the NEET SS, we don't have any interview kind of thing, so it is totally new to us. And uh, I've just pa- passed out uh, my MD in two months back, so there is no exposure of an interview or anything. so your step two preparation was very helpful sir so because you are a fresher and you you practice in your very possible first valid attempt did you attempt your the previous ins session when you were 
in your final year of md uh, yes sir i have given the uh, given that april inss also but due to some uh, unfortunate reasons like uh, i have marked for review around 35 to 40 questions i was not aware of the uh, rules and i haven't read the instructions that was my mistake so uh, i didn't get through it at that time right but uh, immediately after your md you are getting into a dm that to in a institute of national importance that's a very big achievement sumit it's nothing yes. it's nothing less in life so sumit if you have a post graduate student of md medicine say second year for example who wants to ask you or wishes to ask ki how should he or she go about preparation for uh, clinical hematology what will be your calls of wisdom for that one person Uh, sir uh, firstly i will recommend every student who is interested in clinical hematology that uh, he or she should visit the wards of hemat and should uh, and should see the cases because seeing the cases is very important we get a very minute and essence of that subject uh, which is not present in any book or or anywhere second uh, especially sir your view, uh, your videos it covers every small details so seeing the cases in ward and just seeing your videos is more 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 than sufficient sir uh, nothing to worry if you are doing these two things not even uh, need of solving mcq just uh, we need to follow your video uh, without any doubt and just the ward cases that is more than sufficient and uh, the general medicine part should be covered during md days by harrison or uh, uh, during neat ss preparation that uh, would be my advice sir So, if you have to summarize, how many months of preparation will be adequate for a MD student? Uh, sir, uh, there is no as such answer for that. We need to be consistent throughout the MD days. If you are interested in any particular branch, you need to get the touch of it throughout. Uh, it is because I N I S S is not the factual or uh, is not about facts. It is about concepts and very small details. so we learn these details in one two years of practice uh, so as i did and uh, i uh, i did not study much in last one month of this i n i s s november uh, i just studied for seven days but uh, uh, the preparation that i have done in my md days and the uh, the videos that I, i have seen of yours in my md days helped uh, helped me a lot right last but not the least do you have any suggestions for marrow ss as a portal for hematology mm, sir marrow ss uh, hematology per se sir is just too good sir and as i have said before your video is more than sufficient and they it helped me a lot uh, i think uh, without uh, without your videos it was just impossible sir nothing exaggeration just uh, what i felt so which college are you opting to join it's it's out of the blue question was was there in your mind uh, sir pgi chandigarh is definitely a very good option and very uh, my my priority as it is the prime institute and uh, i will definitely look after it sir right okay thank you really dr somit sabu who is on the brink of a personal function in life and still has managed to carve out some time for this small interview session today i hope the best for you in life and i'm so happy that people who are passionate as you are entering this field of clinical hematology which is a perfect blend of practical uh, lab hematology as well as the clinical core part thank you so much thank you thank you sir thanks a lot sir